everyone and welcome to session 19. Today's workout is a fun little accumulator workout suitable for all abilities. There's going to be loads of options in there for you to make it easier or harder if you require. Um, we're going to take one exercise and then we're going to add on one exercise at a time. So by the end of this, we're going to be doing seven exercises back to back with a short rest in between. There's going to be a good mix of upper and lower body, cardio and strength, core work. It really is an all rounder. So if you're ready, let's get into session 19. Hi everyone and welcome to session 19, Fit Fans Online. Great to have you back. I hope you're feeling great as a result of all the exercise that you've been doing. So for today's session, we're going to do an accumulator style workout. So by accumulator, I mean that there's going to be a series of exercises that build on top of each other. So we add an extra exercise on each time. The first thing that I'm going to ask of you today is if you've not done so already, pause the video and do a light warm up. By now we know some of the exercises to do just to loosen off and get your heart rate up. And also, today's mind message, we're going to be focusing on the effect of music on our, uh, our well-being and our mood. So what I'd like you to do is cue a little bit of your own music um, and pop that on during the workout and see how that helps you get through these exercises. So, without further ado, let's get going. Right then, so, as I said, the first exercise that we're gonna do is going to be a march. So marching on the spot as your easier option, high knees as your middle option, or a ladder climb as the most difficult option. For each exercise, I'm going to offer you two or three different alternatives so you can match it to how you're feeling at that time. We're going to do these exercises for 30 seconds, then we're going to rest for 10, and then we're going to obviously add an extra exercise on. So by the end, we're going to be doing sort of like three, three and a half minutes of exercise with short breaks in between. So for now, uh, we'll start with a march. The second exercise that we're going to do is going to be a press up. So you can either do your wall presses, your kneeling press-ups or your full press-ups if you're feeling super strong today. Um, the third exercise we're going to do is going to be a sumo squat. So feet out, 10 to 2, sitting back and up. So that's your first option. Your second one we're going to come down and then raise down and raise and the most difficult option is going to be holding that half squat and just pulsing around that top half of the move, keeping the tension on the upper legs. So they're going to be the first three. Let's give them a go, build them up, and then I'll show you the ones afterwards. So we're into 30 seconds of marching to start. In three, two, one, off we go. So you've got the ladder is the most advanced, most challenging option. You've got high knees or Alternatively, you can just match it out. We're going to keep coming back to this one. So find your own level. Mix it up. You may start with the ladder. You might finish on the match depending on how you feel. Right. Short break. Then we're going to go into our second exercise, which is the push-ups. In three, two, one. So 30 seconds, either full, full push-ups, knee push-ups, or the wall version. Well done. If you start on your toes, don't fear if you have to finish on your knees, do what you can, particularly as we get towards the end. Well done, right. 10 seconds, we're going back into the march or the high knees. So you can see how this is going to work. We're going to add an exercise on and repeat the ones we've already done. Well done. So done two of them already. You'll be repeating these quite a few times as we come back down. Hold 
done. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, so this time is the sumo squats. After this, you get a short break, I'll show you the next few exercises. Off we go. So squat. That's your easier version. A little bit more difficult. Squat, raise, squat, raise. Well done. And then, if you want to keep that tension on, get a good squat position. Just bounce it out around that mid range. And relax, well done. Right. The next one, we're back into the push ups. So, in your own time. Right, off we go. Oh, halfway through, I've dropped to my knees. Keep going if you can. exercises. So the next one is going to be star jump. Easy, a little bit more difficult. And there are about your two options for that one. So star jump for number four. Number five is going to be something working on the core. So the easiest version, if you're sick of getting up and down, is just going to be a standing crunch opposite elbow to opposite knee. The other two are going to be on the ground. So your second option is going to be a leg raise. Controlling the legs up and down. And then your super advanced version of that is going to be a reverse crunch. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a leg raise to start and then you're just going to lift your lower body up at the top. We'll leave it at that for now and then we've got two more to add on at the end. So next up we've got the star jumps, followed by the sumo squats, followed by the press ups, followed by the march, back to back. We're building this up. Already. Four, three, Two, one, star jumps. Well done everyone. Short rest today. 19th session of a series. Building it up every time. Inside the last 10. Three, two, one, well done. Deep breaths in these rests. Your next one is your squat. I'm gonna try the little pulse one. Off we go. How are you finding the music that you popped on? Is it helping you zone out? Obviously, mine say that uh, I'm sure a lot of you will agree Music can make you feel good, take you back to happy times, things like that. Um, so that's the reason why we've asked you to do that today. What we get. If you'd like to read more about how 
music can affect your hormones, your happy hormones. Go on the, the Mind website, check that out, right? A little bit slow there, into your push-ups. Ten seconds. Great stuff, right. March, ladder climb in three, two, one. Off we go. So what we're doing today, we've got short rest periods, but we're moving from upper body to lower body to cardio. We're making our heart work hard to push the oxygen around the body to the working muscles. So a little bit of strength work, good cardio effect as well. Five seconds. And relax, well done. Right then, we're building these up. Standing crunches or leg raises. Off we go. Keep that lower back into the ground if you can on the leg raise. Well done. Next one is your star jumps. Just take this 10 seconds to get up and down. Off we go. Remember, if you started with these, you're starting to feel a little bit fatigued. And keep moving, going to the easier version. Bring your breathing rate and your heart rate down. Even get rid of the arms for a minute. Side step. Bit of active recovery. Well done. The next one is a sumo squat. Ten to two feet. Ready. Off we go. Hopefully now you found your version of the exercise which feels good for you. This one definitely looks like a sumo squat. Three, two. One, well done. Push ups next. Gonna start on my knees this time. Ready? Maintain good form. Three seconds. Oh, well done. Right, into your high knees. Off we go, another little break after this. It's good work. We've already done, I think, four or five sets of push-ups. Three or four sets of squats, so building it up. 15 seconds. Just giving my upper body a bit of a rest from those. I'm relaxed, well done. Right then, take this break, get your breathing rate back, grab a drink if you've got one. We've got two more exercises to add, and obviously these are gonna be our longest work periods as we come back through all the exercises for the last two times. So exercise number seven 
The easier version is just going to be a little step and touch. The second one is going to be a low impact stance jack where you step out, come down, out and down. And the hardest version is going to be a little bit more explosive so we jump out, down, together. Tough one on your legs. So that's exercise number seven. Exercise number eight, a few options for this. You can do the wall climber. So hands on the wall, knees up and across slightly. We've got a slow version of a mountain climber, which we did in our last session. So good plank position, walking in and out, nice and steady. And then for your more advanced version, really boost your heart rate, challenge yourself. It's going to be a fast mountain climber, keeping that bum down, doing what you can. Your upper body's going to feel that as well. We've only got to do that one once. So are we ready? Awesome work everyone. We're starting with the stance jacks or just your step touch. Off we go. I'm doing the advanced version here, jumping together, down, touching left and right. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, well done. Leg raises next, or a standing crunch if you don't want to get down. Off we go. Deep breaths. If you need to rest, have a rest, few seconds, release that tension, get back in if you can. Well done. Right then. Again, come to your knees and up we get. Star jumps. Off we go. Come on, these last two runs through are going to be difficult. Feel free to mix it up. Just keep moving. Got a good amount of work not a good amount of rest in this exercise, so the overall length of the sessions not going to be much longer, but doing a lot more work. Well done. Right then, sumo squat. I'm going to go for the easier option here. Squat and up. Arms coming out again, just balance. Try and focus on pushing through both feet. Come on, a couple more. Three, two, one, time. Push ups. You got the wall as back up, you've got knees, you've got toes, if you're still good for that. Off we go, good form, keep the elbows tucked in. Come on, inside the last 10, we've got one more round to do. and relax. Right then, to finish off this one, you've got your march or your high knees. Remember, if you need it, just march it out. If you can, you're still laddering or high knees. I 
How are we feeling it? I hope you've got your power song on, making you feel good, finding that extra little bit. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. And relax, well done. Right. I'm gonna give you a little breather before we go for the full whack. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Or oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I think. But uh, anyway, a lot of exercises. So we're just gonna get our breath back a little bit. Try not to stand still, it may look like I'm a little bit restless, but just keep moving around. So the eighth exercise, or seventh exercise, sorry, was the mountain climber or the wall climber as an option, the slow version as well. So give that a go. We've only got one effort to do. Then we're coming back through them all and we're finished. Right. Already. Let's go for this. Come on. We've got five seconds into the mountain climbers. Keep the core engaged. Off we go. Bums down. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Go for your abs as well. Come on, hang in there. Three, two, one. Time. Great stuff. Stance jacks or step touch already. Typical exercises at the top here. Yeah, I've got to repeat them a lot of times. Remember, you take a little bit of the impact out, or you could just be stepping side to side, slight bend in your knees. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, three, two, one. Great stuff, right. Standing crunch or leg raise. Off we go. Feel it now. Don't give in. We've got this. Three seconds. Well done. Remember, knees, deep breaths, up we get into our star jumps. Well done. Five seconds. Three exercises to go. Thought we'd never get there, we've nearly done it. Sumo squat. Gotta keep that good form. to go last set of push-ups. Let's try the full one, see how far we can get. We're ready? Go! Oh, 
to the knees, 12 seconds left. Come on, keep going. Well done. Last one then. Up we get. High knees on march. 30 seconds work. Come on. Amazing effort. Remember, afterwards, when you start feeling good, listen to your playlist. If you're on Twitter or Instagram, use the hashtag FitFans. It's on the banner. Let us know where you are, how you're getting on with the workouts. Come on, five seconds. I'm relaxed. Let me turn that off. Ooh. Right then. Deep breaths. I'm going to do a little bit of a cool down. Right, what well, we're going to start with then. We're going to start with our calves. Do a lot of jumping with the stand straps, the star jumps, even sort of like your mountain climbers. So if you've got a wall, you're going to push against the wall, put your back leg straight and push your back heel into the ground as you push into the wall. Stretch out that calf. Well done. Up we come. Switch side so the other leg goes back, push the heel down, push against the wall. Brilliant, well done. Alright, we're just going to come into some little looseners, so we're going to come in step to opposite hand. If you can't reach, Air it out. Well done. Take a nice wide stance. The hips going. Ooh. Lost it a minute there. Keep going. Right, hands by our ears, we're just going to twist side to side. A couple more. Well done, and if we just step out a little bit wider, bring the arm up and over. Still in me breathing a little bit heavy, but heart rate is coming down. Breathing rate's returning to normal. Stretch out those working muscles. Well done. Finally, if you can take your hands, place them into the centre of your lower back, and you're just going to push your elbows back. And bring your chest up. You'll feel it stretch all through your chest and your shoulders. Deep breaths. And relax, shake them out. Right, that brings an end to session 19. You've got, what, five more sessions in total. Another two with myself. Um, the kind of focus of myself and Steph now is going to be to get you guys comfortable to take the next step into community based fitness. Uh, by all means, you can keep using these to supplement your fitness goals and your healthy lifestyle. But if we can get you out accessing uh, community provision, uh, hopefully, you can start to benefit from that as well. So, we're going to try and uh, mimic some of the, the sessions that will be going on in your local community. So thanks as always for taking part, 
and I look forward to seeing you at a session again soon. Thank you.